Um, this is called the Remote Balancer, and it uses uh, little hologram cards, which are pre-programmed. So we have about 20 different cards here that are, this is a picture of a hologram card. This is not the hologram, that's just my logo. On the back is a hologram. Why a hologram? Okay, you guys all know about power balance, right? The little sports bands. You guys all know about yeah. those? Yeah, a little bit. That's just, that's just the be very beginnings were with using holograms and then a lot of companies got on the bandwagon. They started programming these holograms and they were getting results of, they hold, because of the crystalline structure in the hologram, when you program them with the SE5, it holds the informational field really well. And so with these hologram cards, once you put it inside of the, the instrument, it starts sending it out into the, into the field. And of course, with a photo, you can target it to your client or whatever. So we've got a whole bunch of different uh, holograms that are pre-programmed, like sleep or allergies or DNA activation, food clearing, enhancing your garden. It really is radionics for dummies. It's limited in its scope, but you can use reagents, right? So you can be pretty creative. There's just no analysis ability with it whatsoever. But it's a nice little add-on. And this was an example of what uh, one test that uh, a friend of mine was working together with Ludi on it. Um, they programmed some holograms to preserve the, the fruit. And this one, of course, didn't get the hologram. And, you know, see for yourself. You know, this, this is, you know, when you see it, you can believe it kind of thing. Just try it. Try these experiments. This is all experimental research. Go for it. Try them yourself. But there is another company, and they do use the SE5 to program their, their holograms with. They did several different double-blind studies, uh, controlled studies. They're really well-done studies. And here are some on bicycles, like they had them doing bicycle. How fast can they do the bicycle? And then with the holographic chip and... How many watts can they produce? They were producing, uh, you know, like a generator. And this one was for uh, reduction of pain. They had 246 patients and a placebo group. They were, you know, so they did all this to make sure that it was not just sticking on the hologram that worked. Good success with that one. Uh, sleep worked really well with sleep. I've used that one too. It works great. This one was on uh, rhinosinusitis. Had good results on that. 93% success rate of symptom relief. It's not bad, you know, for something to just stick on. Yeah. Do you have any experience with the flea medallions? I think there's maybe a. I haven't, no, but somebody brought that up to me the other day saying, uh, you know, why don't you come up with a little holographic dog collar for fleas? And I thought, now that's a good idea. So somebody's already done it. Is that true? They've done it, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. It doesn't work. Okay, that yeah, one doesn't work. They're not using the SE5. They only have two people. <laughs> <laughs> two people did it, and they, they haven't had a problem yet. So. Oh, cool. Okay. But, but you tried it? Yeah, I tried it twice and two dogs. And I'd like to talk to you afterwards. Okay. okay, interesting. Well, anyway, we've got a little personal balance where you can put in different um, holograms as well. You can wear it on your belt, and it's, you know, we used to have the SA2, which was the little tiny programmable carry on your belt kind of thing, um, version of the SE5 uh, that Bill had created. And this one's kind of taking that, that one. These, by the way, all of these also do EMF protection in a way, which is what I'm gonna show you next. This is another picture of the, this is just a room balancer. You can't, you can't send it to a person via remote. You just, it just kind of changed, I called it an environmental enhancer. So if you, put in eliminate negative energies and you have this in your room, um, it just sort of clears the room of, of negative en energies and entities and things like that. We cleared a whole restaurant once one day when I went. They were all drinking, you know, drinking alcohol. And we put this one in, everybody, within 10 minutes, everybody, they left their drinks standing on the table. Everybody just got up and left. <laughs> it was pretty cute. So this was, um, before Bill passed away, he had invented a little thing called the Scalar Plus. And we scaled it down, because he never got it in the market, but afterwards, um, we scaled it down and it became a little item you can wear. And what it does is it sweeps through bio-friendly frequencies. Like that. And it goes through all the bio-friendly frequencies about 30,000 times per day. 
So when it's closer to your body, your body will orient itself back to the biofriendly frequencies and not to the Wi-Fi and the cell phone and the smart meters. You guys all know about smart meters, I hope. If you don't know, educate yourself really quickly because they're coming like a storm. They're, ah, it's just amazing. Huh? Are people able to fight it? There, some, some, there is some success. Depends on the state you live in. Uh, in some states, they're going with police force to change the... The smart meters, uh, you know, change the analog meters out from people trying to stop the people from going into their own home, breaking into their home. Anyway, we had um, this lady in Bulgaria did a, a live self um, dark field microscope blood test of the CHEO. But I want to show you what happens. You can see from her face, she's not the healthiest person to begin with. I mean, I can see that, anyway, just from my own knowledge. And so she tested her blood, blood first. And it was pretty clumpy to begin with. Yeah, this is not... Each one of these cells should have space around them. So she was already suffering a bit from whatever... I, I don't know, but, you know, obviously she's having some, some issues. So I asked her if she would make a 10-minute cell phone call and then test her blood again. You guys ready for this? No. Whoa. I know. It looks worse on the computer. <laughs> yeah, it's very clumped together. So, as a remedy, I asked her then to put on her Chio and turn it on for 10 minutes and take her blood again. Yeah? Whoops, that was another one after, I, had, I did two samples of after the cell phone. Okay, and this one is after the Chio for 10 minutes. Yeah? Not bad, huh? Not perfect yet. I should have said, okay, then use it for an hour or something. I just yeah. I didn't think of that. And yeah, anyway, that's a little blood test we did. We also did a... I was in Switzerland and I did, uh, I had a booth there, and so I thought, I'll, we'll use the SE5 and we'll check the chi stagnation on each side of the body and see what a cell phone does to it. So first I had them turn off their cell phone and lay it far away, and I checked the right side of their body without the cell phone, no chi on or anything, and the um, left side of their body. And it, this was 28 people and I just averaged them all together, and it came out about between 4.9% and 5% on the left and right side of the body. Then I just had them, I did not have them make a call, I just had them turn on their cell phone and hold it in the right hand, right? Because the cell phone's always signaling to the tower and connecting. Oops, wrong one. It went up to 49% in the hand that they were, I had them all hold it in the right hand because I wanted to get some kind of control. 49% chi stagnation, so the chi was blocked on the right side of the body about 50%, almost 50% on all of the people. This was an average of 28 people, some more, some less, but basically about 50%, 49.29%. On the left side of the body, even though they're holding it on their right hand, it was blocking the chi on the left side of the body to 37%. I thought that was very interesting and a lot, very high. So then I had them go ahead and put on the chio and turn it on. And we tested again with them holding the cell phone. Now, this is in their right hand still. They have the chio on. Their body, within just a minute, I let them have it on for just a minute before we tested. And it dropped it down to below the level where they had no cell phone or anything. So their, their system, their chi flow energy was responding to the chio, even with a cell phone in their hand, better than they started with to begin. So that was fun. Okay, now for my new thing, we just got these. I got these shipped here because I haven't seen them. Jan's been, he was in Bali with me a couple months ago going, when do I, because I had a prototype, and he's just going salivating, going, when do I get one? I said, oh, it'll just be a couple weeks. Oh, I'm so sorry. Took us a couple months to get these finished. But uh, they came out beautifully. And this is the same thing as the plastic one with some enhancements. But the thing about the plastic ones, because I had so many okay, women complaining <laughs> that they were ugly and they didn't want to wear them. I said, well, just put them under your shirt. You don't have to see it. I said, yeah, but make it pretty, please. So I met some really cool designers in Bali and they just tricked it out. And they did everything to it. They put tensor rings in it. These are tensor rings around the outside. Uh, there's two tensor rings in it. It's filled with organite underneath of here. It's got the five metals, the five magic metals from India, the gold, silver, um, copper, brass, I don't know what all uh, It's in the instruction booklet. Um, and then he made this really cool design of uh, 
just the cover for it. And so now it's beautiful, mm -hmm. and it's more expensive. But it's really nice. We have them in gold and in silver, and uh, they are really, really nice units. Um, and they do the same thing as the Chio. With, and they, I have had a couple of very sensitive people say, you know, this has more energy. Than, they had the old one, too. And I had some prototypes that I lent around, and they said, wow, this has more energy. They can feel it. I'm maybe not that sensitive. Um, but I do like the looks of it. <laughs> and I have to say, this is a really funny story. So I had my, my original prototype on, a silver one. And I went to this little town in Bali where it's just Bali people. There are like no white people. And I was going to search for a washing machine for one of our, our uh, employees there. And I'm walking across the street, and there are four or five Bali guys sitting down. They're all chatting and everything. But now, you know, they're like hooting and hollering and whistling. You know, so I look over my shoulder because I know there's got to be some hot chick back there, you know. And they're all just going, wow. You know, so I'm looking around, they're going, no, no, like this. And I looked down and they were pointing to my Chio. And they're going, wow. <laughs> I'm going, okay, if it can get five guys that excited <laughs> and there's no chick behind me, it's got to be doing pretty well.